So I uh, went to Syracuse University and graduated with a bachelor's degree uh, focusing in entrepreneurship. And then when I left, I had always been really interested in food and went to the Culinary Institute of America. Um, Malcolm was my grandfather's name. So we named it after my grandfather. It was actually at his eulogy that we uh, really decided on it when his brother got up and talked about uh, when my grandfather would take them out to Albany and, and eat all these things like scallops and lobster like way back in the day. Um, that's when I really realized it was part of our family. I selected Schenectady because I grew up in Scotia. It was very, very close to me and my family. We also really loved the way the building looked. It had a lot of history to it. Um, and we could use uh, two levels of the building and put in a private dining room. We source everything from local farms and we kind of just build dishes based around the vegetables and the season that we have. So one of the biggest things we do to partner with local farms, um, predominantly Roxbury Farm, is us CSA. Um, it's community supported agriculture where we give a bunch of money in the beginning of the season and the farm brings us produce over the course of the next 26 weeks. We've actually developed partnerships with um, the farmers at the actual farmer's market and we can bring more local ingredients into the restaurant. In the summer, we buy almost no produce from distributors that bring food in from far away. So almost everything we have comes directly from the Schenectady Farmers Market, our CSA, or uh, other farms that we work in partnership with. We have a dining bar that's open so that people can sit at the dining bar and watch the kitchen cook. Uh, a lot of times that will involve recipe discussions with the chef. It's a fun way to connect the kitchen to the diner the way that a lot of restaurants uh, can't. We seat about 60. When we're open in the summer and we have our outside dining area, we have 80 seats, which is actually a pretty pretty sizable space to, to be able to seat people with a 25 person private dining room. It's really nice that we're a lot more consistent than we used to be. And honestly, with Proctor's having shows like Hamilton, we our August was extremely busy, which was fantastic when usually July and August are a little bit of a slower time when people are going on vacation, school isn't in session, things like that. Um, August was one of our busiest months, so it was really nice. Um, but we are, we're much more consistently busy than we've ever been. And passing that one year mark on a restaurant is, is pretty important, but we, yeah, we were able to sort of control costs and make sure everything not only works from the farms and our concept uh, perspective, but also from the ability to actually like pay the bills and, and stay afloat, so that's good. <laughs>